Hi, my name is Scott. I turned around and said in my last video so about the hammer drill that I get ready to show you what the Devolution hammer we got. I just received it today and it came in two boxes. It came in a brown box, plain simple, and then it came in the actual original packaging. And what I have here is the hammer drills, the hammer, Devolution hammer, its case, two plastic tubes, the chisels, the spike, and I also purchased the spade to go with it. This is a 2200 watt, 1400 beats, stark demolition hammer. And it coming upon the response, it also comes with your manual, spanner wrench for your oil, two bushings, two allen wrenches. I just put oil in this container, it normally comes in just plain and simple. Okay? Now, when you get into it, make sure you inspect it, folks. Make sure it has oil in it. And how you check it is you stand it up on a, on a step. You have a sight gauge. And if it does not have any oil in it, which it shows none, we have to put a little oil in it before we actually start it. So how to do that is simple. You take the spanner wrench, go over to the glass, Unscrew it. Take the cap off. Take a little bit of oil. Make sure that you get enough in there. Now it does come in with at least about a half an inch to an inch of oil. You don't want too much. Screw it back on. Make sure it's tight. Lift it back up. And you got oil. That's how you know that it's, that it's operational. It has to be within the half or the full glass. Other than that, that's it. Now, this piece of equipment comes with a 360 swivel, trigger, locking the mechanism, so when you pull the trigger back, push the button up, and the trigger is now locked in place. So you do not have to hold it with the finger all the time. Unlock it by pulling the trigger back. Your bushings are located on both sides of the black container. Takes a Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew it, and that's how you check it. Now, it's got a little grease that normally comes with these. How you put these in is you, and when it came this way, as you can see, slide it back a little bit. It's already open. All you do is take the pin, switch it back. Now the pin's light. That's it. Same way with the shovel. And by the way, this is a very heavy shovel. Interesting. Same way. Slide it in. And that's how it works. Now I haven't tried it yet, but uh, we're going to be doing some heavy demolition tomorrow. If you looked at my last three videos I posted, we did a sidewalk. Uh, I did this on a heavier drill and a heavier uh, demolition hammer. Now we're going to get, instead of renting one, we decided to go ahead and buy one because it's a lot cheaper. Now this only cost me not much on Amazon. And like I said before, Amazon does have some decent prices. I did it on the uh, rotisserie, the rotary hammer drill. Um, part one, two, and three. You can check it up on my site. Uh, please do. Leave comments if necessary. Um, give us a few moments. We're going to pause this and turn around and get ready to do some a little bit of work on it. Show you how it works. Thank you. 
everybody already knows what the demolition hammer does with the ball and the, and the chisel. We're going to go ahead and try out the shovel. We're going to see how really this thing goes. By the way, the handle is 360. It does not tighten down. All you do is have to move it around. We're going to see what this does. I believe that's going to be great to pull out roots. Get ready to drop some posts in the ground. And it moves smooth. Smooth as it is. As you can tell before, we did the spade instead of the other two. Both these right here are actually 15 and a half inches long. This right here is actually 17 and a half inches long. And as much work as I plan to do tomorrow with it, we should be able to knock out the drive, uh, sidewalk very quickly in less time than expected before. This is very inexpensive. It is made out of metal, so it's worth it. Um, folks, I do thank you. If any questions, any comments, please leave them on the site and I will return them. Thank you. Thanks again.